What's up, Shuva Teens? Pastor Matt? Yeah, it's a spatula. This week, we're on a Torah portion called Baha Elotka. Yeah, say that three times fast. So this week, we're in this particular Torah portion, which starts with Aaron lighting the menorah. Now let's talk a little bit about that. It says that there were either steps or a stool that he had to stand upon when lighting the menorah, which means in order for him to light it, he had to ascend. You know, we all need to ascend and we need to light the flame of others. You ever thought about that? You know, people are kind of like candles. The Bible says that the soul of a person is like the candle of God. It's kind of interesting. Never think of yourself as a candle. Don't blow in the wind, you know what I'm saying? Don't let Satan blow it out. Did you ever sing that song as a kid? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, the idea is we have a job to do. We have a job and that job is to make sure that our souls are lit, so to speak. And also we have a job to light the souls of others. That's lit, see what I did there? <laughs> Cut that part out. We need to be ascending to light other people on fire, spiritual fire. It's very interesting. So think about this. In Matthew chapter five, verses 14 to 16, Yeshua says that we are the light of the world and that we need to let our light shine before others so that they see the mitzvot that we're doing and give God glory. Remember, we don't get the glory, God gets the glory. Just like on the menorah, it had the flames that were all facing toward the center. Our flames need to be facing toward Yeshua. That guy right there, this flame was pointing toward Yeshua. Think about how a single viral video can light up the internet. And sometimes it can light up the internet in a good way and sometimes in a bad way. Not everything that goes viral is the best. You and I, through our actions worldwide, we have the potential to have an effect. An effect like throwing a rock in a body of water. You see the ripples go out. The same is true with us. You know, in Judaism, every action that we do has an effect on the rest of the whole world, whether good or bad. Here's an idea for a fun activity. Do a light of the world photo challenge. Capture an image that represents God's light in the world. It could be acts of kindness, something beautiful about creation, something that shows you having moments of community, anything like that. Share these expressions of faith on your group's social media and invite others to spread the light. It's like spreading positivity. It's like spreading good news all around. How about this? Try to commit one act of kindness each and every day that brings light into someone's life, whether that's standing up for someone who's being bullied or just, I don't know, smiling at strangers like that guy. Find out in your world what we can do to light up the whole community. You know, we as young people, well, I say we, I'm not young anymore, but you know what I mean. You as young people, you can have a positive effect on older people like me. You can energize us. You can be an inspiration to us. Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. By you as teenagers shining your light, you help us shine our light because you inspire us. It says in Rashi, that when Aaron had to light the menorah, he had to hold the flame there until the wick of the menorah raised up on its own, its own fire. It's not a quick hold the fire up to the wick and then move it away. You have to keep it there until the wick has its own fire that begins to raise. And do you know that in the Hebrew, when it says to light the menorah, what it really means is literally to raise the light. And so we need to raise the lights in each other. So when someone older like me sees a teenager like you doing something amazing for God, what that does is it's like raising our light because you have your light. It's pretty cool. Shuvu teens, I'm challenging you, shine your light, raise your light so that other people's light can be brighter and make a difference in the world around you. You never know what a little act of kindness can do in someone's day. Someone might be having a horrible time, but one word, one smile, one word of encouragement from you can change everything. So do that. Be like a little menorah out there. Shine your light. Be like a menorah teen. Huh. Too bad we already have a name for this. Shuvu teens. All right, Shuvu teens. This is Pastor Matt, out.